Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Tripp, and welcome to The Game According to Me. This is my weekly podcast, at least during the football season, where we talk about football, you know, and sometimes other sports, with college football basically ending, although we have some games starting, like, Friday for college football, uh, as in bowl season hits. Uh, we're we're going to continue on with the NFL, but we're going to add other things into the mix. The NBA, Major League Baseball, and a lot of other things. Um, but we're going to stick with college football for this first segment because we got to talk about the new Heisman Trophy winner. All right, so this past Saturday, the Heisman Trophy was given out, and USC quarterback Caleb Williams was the winner. Um, he got 400 and 500, excuse me, and 50 and 44 first place votes. Um, 168 second place votes and 63 third place votes, accounting him with over 2,000 votes, points, uh, to become the winner. Max Dugan, who was the, uh, runner up in this case, had 1,420 votes. To me, this probably says that um, that most of the votes probably were 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 in after uh, USC beat Notre Dame because I I think that um, I think that to to yeah I'm not saying I'm not saying that that Max Duggan was you no know, it was better. Or anything like that, but to me, I, 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 I just, I do think that the loss at Utah maybe shouldn't have, it shouldn't have been so, 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 so far away as it was. It maybe should have been a little bit closer. But again, what that, that tells me that Caleb Williams was the, at another name. That's what most people put turned in their votes, and that's something that I'm, I'm kind of down on when it comes to that. I think you should wait. For the 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 thing to, to turn in your vote because then you could you know even make an actual you know secession. Now that doesn't mean that Caleb Williams didn't deserve it. I think he did, but I I, I think because of what Mac Mac Duggan did in that in that Big Twelve championship game and the way he had he put his team on his back and. And carried him to victory, uh, to not to victory, but to uh, to an overtime. You know, after being down in that game, may have meant something. So, but that's totally fine. He uh, Williams can maybe standing up here today, but y'all get to go to the college football playoffs. I guess you can't win them all. So, because yes, because the four guys who were there were, were Williams, Dugan from TCU in the playoff. Stroud from Ohio State in the playoffs, and Stetson Bennett from Georgia in the playoffs. So, definitely, definitely in it. So, yeah. Um, but USC, USC is going to be a top contender next year going into it, having the Heisman Trophy winner, bringing a lot of people back, and they're going to get more weapons and from, from not only the, the recruiting but the transfer portal. Um, Definitely been talked about a lot. Uh, like like over a thousand players have j- jumped in the transfer portal, and uh, so gonna be interesting to see how that all runs. It is, it is very amazing to what is happening to college football. Um, with the NIL stuff happening, and now with like the transfer portal being a part of of, of the game, um, it kind of you know some people are uh, un start about it because, you know, and some of them make good points about, you know, jumping in the transfer portal because you're not getting the time at, at one school and then you're going to jump to another school, which, again, you still may not get the time there. You need to be certain that you're going to go there and start. And that's why some sometimes the, the, the jump into the transfer portal is from, like, a bigger school to a smaller school. I was shocked to hear that Drew Pine, uh, quarterback of Notre Dame, jumped in the transfer portal. And I'm guessing the reason why he jumped in the transfer portal because he talked he had, he had talks with Marcus Freeman in the offense and he was talking about hey, well, hey, you know, come back next year and uh, you know, um and let's 
we'll go to the championship and maybe Marcus Freeman told him where we're going to go with Tyler Buckner, which is a stupid fucking move to go because he can't throw the ball. You know, he's not, he, he can't throw the ball. Why didn't you learn that? God, Marcus. Oh. So, and then, so then he jumps in. So, uh, so I was out the best for Drew Pine, but yeah, it's kind of, kind of awful. It really is. But, yeah, congratulations to Kenneth Williams, the uh, 2022 Heisman Trophy winner. And we're going to stay with college as uh, earlier this week, Mike Lee. He has been uh, one of the pioneers of the air, air raid offense in college football. And, and even now, Cliff Kingsbury runs that offense. Big pioneer in the offensive football type of thing. He was, uh, from what it all says, he was just an amazing guy, good to talk to, good to work with, and everything like that. And for people in the media and fans, he was an incredible soundbite. Uh, I'm going to play for you um, some of his... Uh, this is about you know, nine minutes long. You'll enjoy this, I promise. Uh, this comes from uh, the YouTube channel of C. Let's go out there. Let's cut the regular season back to 10 games. Uh, you can have some well placed golf meets. You can have an NIT in between to fill in the points. And uh, let's have a 60 14 playoff. The champion will play 16 games. Uh, and, see, and see this guy here. Uh, I'm not off of Mark here. <laughs> You're off of Mark. Everybody else does it this way. And, and everybody thinks uh, that, uh, you know. I went into a cave and carved all this out. <laughs> I walked down the street and it was like, you know, it was like uh, baseball, uh, softball, basketball. As coaches, we failed uh, to make our coaching points and our points more compelling than their girlfriends. Now, their fat little girlfriends have some obvious advantages. For one thing, their fat little girlfriends are telling them what they want to hear, which is how great you are and how uh, how easy it's going to be. The entire first half, we got hit in the mouth and acted like somebody took our lunch money and all we wanted to do was have pouty expressions on our face until somebody daubed our little tears off and made us feel better. And then, uh, you know, then we'd go out there and try harder once, once uh, we, you know, once our mommies told us we were okay. But 
glad to get out of here with the win. It's a tough place to do it. And, uh, you know, once in a while, a pirate can beat a soldier, you know? I mean, it, to me, it's always been naive. You know, um, on Earth, they say, oh, well, we're the only ones. We're, I mean, really, why? Have you been to the other planets? Have you checked out the other planets? Cliff likes to be up early. Cliff's a very sharp dresser. Uh, Dana thinks he's a sharp dresser, but clearly is not. Uh, and I don't even pretend to be. So you have the all three degrees there. I'm going to show this. Okay, now the trouble is, is it's got to be your offhand. So you go like this. You go like this. Look, everybody, I'm passing the ball. And then at the last second, and this is key, you turn your thumb down. You just hold the football, turn your thumb down. And all you have to do is this. Here, I'll show you. But then there's the ball, and it's going to be like, you know, this weird basketball pass, you know, to the point where you can't go like this and then, you know, you know, and just the whole spastic motion in and of itself um, was both entertaining and disgusting to see on film. One of the most screwed up things about this country is the fact that in order to do anything, in order to cross the street, we always have to have a committee. You know, and I said, you know, uh, and so I figured, well, screw the committee. So I, I hope the next uh, Graham Harrell and Michael Crabtree are sitting in their living rooms and they're, you know, kind of astute, studious guys to, uh, in addition to being talented. And they say, they say, hey, I know what, and, you know, the game's over, but I'm going to watch 60 minutes. Oh, yeah, Texas Tech, oh, 60 minutes. Yeah, that's me, you know, and then they come here. So hopefully that'll turn out that way. This isn't Starbucks. This is the stuff in the house here, which uh, it's all right. But we're gonna see if it kills ants. We got these fire ants out here. Okay, let me see if this will work. But uh, um, I actually have no material to support the fact that this works. But this is strictly an experimental deal. I don't know. Maybe yeah, it could turn into super ants. What kind of lawyer did you think you were gonna be? Uh, I wanted to do, at the end, I wanted to do, like, products liability, as in, uh, you know, if that camera explodes all over that guy, we'd sue the camera company and their insurance company, you see. What took you guys from getting that ruling that that's a very interesting uh, I don't know. That's a great point. We were, we were, like, one of the most constipated offenses on earth, and, you know, we... Uh, uh, yeah, you know, right now, uh, we have the atmosphere of, uh, of the J.C. softball team. You know, I mean, that's what we are, J.C. softball team. As long as, you know, uh, it's 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 not whether you win or lose. It's like the, 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 the team that wins is the one that has the most fun. You know, that crap like that. You know, all this stuff that's contaminated America where they give every kid a trophy and they don't keep scoring in Little League anymore. <laughs> well, that guy's awesome. <laughs> that guy, yeah. Yeah, that's, I, uh, yeah I, I, I kind of felt the same way at the end of that game. There's a t-shirt of a headhunter a guy brought me from Borneo, which was kind of nice of him. He couldn't get me a shrunken head, so I got a t-shirt. Would you rather have the lights off? Well, I, I just normal light rather than, here, why don't you come up here and we'll just uh, shine. You know, and, and then you guys with the cameras, you can get a good shot of his eyes dilate and go like this, you know, as he goes through this. Uh, Piracy is just one of many subjects Leach researches in his free time. The full list is like a personal card catalog to his mind. Oh, I see whales, bears, uh, no, whales, grizzly bears, chimpanzees, sharks, Australia, Daniel Boone. There isn't really a specific way to do the tango. Geronimo, the guy always leads the Apache Indians it, in it, general. It just I, 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 do the I don't like more to dance. I think that's... Day because I'm self-conscious, kind of gravitating a little towards that. Uh, my kids and George Washington we went through a little no. bit of a Napoleon phase. In Wyoming, you can camp anywhere. Yeah, uh, probably just yeah, uh, being together with uh, the uh, guys. Uh, and then the uh, five uh, pound wars, we split up the so five pound wars. Worse, and and that was always a great deal. You know, the time come war breaks out, you don't really have any choice but to engage in it. I mean, there's not, there's no neutral countries in five pound wars.
you know, I, I hope there's Bigfoot. I don't think there is. The reason I don't think there is because <clears throat> we found bones of dinosaurs and everything else, but we haven't found bones that I've heard of of Bigfoot. Or... Any of the any of the Facebook, MySpace, what's the other stuff? Twitter. Um, if they're on there, I have nothing to do with them because uh, I, I mean, because uh, I, I don't know how. I, I've yeah, never said do that one, but can you get some of those guys just go to war you know, and, uh, and, and it's got all the things that football and tails are shouting. There's there's blood, there's boogers, there's a whole thing. I mean, and there's 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 spitting, there's fighting, there's ripped jerseys, there's uh, somebody grabbing somebody's throat. I mean, it's why you have football. My favorite weather pattern happens to be uh, when it rains mud. Dust comes through, rain on top of it, it rains mud. This weather report here, what do I know? I'm a football coach. <laughs> I suggest you go out and do what I do, get out of bed, go outside, then you know. And uh, yeah, I drilled this deer once with my dad's uh, vehicle and he wasn't very happy. I mean, uh, here's your empty footballs. You can fill them however you want and then go play. I don't know why anyone wouldn't do that. You know, their face will get very confused. Like, well, how can this be? Uh, well, well, what about the suspension? Well, that's just my point. That's stupid. Okay, uh, well, uh, what about the trial? Well, stupid too. Uh, you know, well, what about, uh, uh, well, somebody thinks it's a big deal. It's not. And I mean, ten, 10 years from now, there ain't, ain't going to be anybody talk to anybody. You know, it's going to be this. You know. Do you want to go out on a date with me? I don't know. What do you look like? Well, I look kind of like this. Okay, well, what are your interests? Well, what do you think my interests are? Uh, looking into this thing and typing into this, just like yours are. Well, yeah, no kidding. That's what everybody's doing. Yeah, that's right. Virtually everyone. Well, where do you want to go? Well, what difference does it make? Because all we're going to be doing is looking in this machine anyway. <clears throat> Well, that's true. In the end, it's going to be tough to perpetuate this, uh, the species. There's no question about that. Well, we're going to enjoy looking in this box, and eventually we're all going to be extinct and die out. Well, that's how it ends, you know. <laughs> all right. I'll see you. And there you have it. Um, Mike Leach's best quotes. According to the YouTube channel CFD in thirty, um, and yes, the, the song by the Mike would have played was in there. And that was right at the very beginning. When he was talking about <laughs> the players listening to his fat little girlfriends. Uh, just that's just, just incredible. It really is. But yeah, um, obviously a pioneer, a legend gone too too soon. Mike Leach dead at sixty one. May he rest in peace. All right, so the NBA has some new trophies that are um, out. Uh, out, uh, they announced uh, new trophies. Those are six new trophies, and um, these are honoring some of the biggest legends in the game. They are uh, newly designed trophies and named after the former players who define the standard of excellence in the league. Here's the list. The Michael Jordan Trophy, given to the league's MVP. Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player of all time. Of course, we give it to the MVP, the best player of that year. The NBA added the Cutch Player Award, named the Jerry West Trophy. The NBA renamed the Rookie of the Year Award to the Wilt Chamberlain Trophy. The George Mikan Trophy will be awarded to the Most Improved Player of the Year. The Defensive Player of the Year will be called the Hakeem Olajuwon Trophy. And the Sixth Man of the Year is named the John Havlicek Trophy. Uh, how are we, these trophies designed? Well, the Michael Jordan Trophy stands 23.6 inches tall and weighs 23.6 pounds, representing Jordan's number 23 jersey and the number of MD championships six he won. It is a five-sided base. Uh, its five-sided base is a nod to Jordan's five leagues MVP. The rest of the trophies in 
uh, it featured an embedment inside a 15 inch crystal net structure. The front award is flat and allow you to see the icon depicted inside the etching of the award and the recipient is detailed at the bottom. The Jerry West Trophy features a player super shooting a jump shot modeled after West Swarm. The Hakeem Olajuwon Trophy shows a player in a defensive stance with one hand up and one hand down, his knees bent. Since Chamberlain won the Rookie of the Year and MVP awards in his first season, 1959-1960, the NBA renamed the Rookie of the Year after him. The trophy features a player palming two basketballs at once. Probably should have been palming two other things at once, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> from the John Havlicek Trophy, the design features a player elevated and, and shooting a running jumper representing the boost provided by, by a player off of the bench to his team. Meanwhile, the George Mikan Trophy resembles a figure doing the Mikan drill, a layup and footwork exercise commonly used around the league. Mikan mastered the fundamentals of the, as the NBA's first dominant big man. West and Elijah Wan said they are honored to have their newly designed trophies named after them. Quote, there are fewer greater thrills as a basketball player than coming through for your teammates and fans when they needed it the most. Unquote, West said in a statement. Quote, this trof new trophy will be awarded to the player who best delivers in those moments, unquote. Elijah Wan said, quote, I am honored to have the opportunity to celebrate the league's best defensive player of the year. Great basketball teams are defined by their ability to defend, with every great team connected by an elite defensive anchor, unquote. I, I, I think I like this. We know that last year they named the Western Conference um, champions, um, they, 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 they got the Magic Johnson Trophy, the Eastern Conference champions got the Larry Bird Trophy. Uh, we know years ago, the MVP of the finals was, was renamed the Bill Russell Trophy. So, I think this is, all of these are great ways to honor the, the, the legends of the game, some of the greatest of all time, and, um, I also think it cements the fact that Jordan is the greatest of all time and LeBron James will always be number two. He's not getting a trophy named after him. At least not nothing that's going to mean anything. <laughs> so, but yeah, I think that's a, a really good uh, shout out by the NBA. You can like go to their Twitter account and see the, uh, see the trophies. I, there's a little controversy with the Michael Jordan trophy. If you look closely, you'll see it. I'm not going to mention it here. If you look closely, you can see it. So, now let's check out the uh, let's ch well, check out, but let's also check up on. I haven't done this in a couple of weeks. The NBA standings. So now let's take a look at the standings so far. Most teams have played maybe around somewhere between twenty eight and twenty nine games, maybe twenty seven to twenty nine games. Games, excuse me. Take a look at the Eastern Conference, the Celtics, who. Had a come by from behind victory last night over the Lakers at 27 and 7. They're the one seed. The Bucks at 20 and 7 are the two seed. The Cavaliers are the three seed at 17 and 11. The Nets making a big jump over the last week or so ever since the um ever since they fired Steve Nash and then they and they get uh they get through this the Kyrie Irving controversy. They seem to be hitting, hitting their stride, getting back on track. They're the fourth seed. They're 17 and 12. The 76ers are 15 and 12. The New York Knicks are 14 and 13. And so it's the, the as we do all, a lot of times, so the playoffs starting now, those would be the six teams that would be in. The playing teams would be the Atlanta Hawks at seven and the Pacers at eight with identical 14 and 14 records. The Raptors at nine with a thirteen and fourteen record, and the Miami Heat, the ten seed, with the thirteen and fifth with a thirteen and fifteen record. Bringing up the rear, my Chicago Bulls at eleven and fifteen, the New York uh, no, the Washington Wizards at eleven and seventeen, the Orlando Magic at eight and twenty, the Hornets at seven and twenty, and the Detroit Pistons at seven and twenty-two. I thought the New York Pistons would be a shocking. A sleeper team, and as Charles Barkley would say, <laughs> they, they've been asleep. Uh, but definitely got to send a shout out to Kay Cunningham. Had a shin injury, he will miss the rest of the season. That's unfortunate for them. Um, his, his his development is, I think, is a big one. 
Um, but hopefully he comes back next year healthy, and hopefully next year they will be a sleeper team. Let's take a look at the Western Conference. We look here, the Pelicans are 18-9, and nine, and the Grizzlies are 18-9, and nine, identical records. Uh, the Grizzlies on a six-game winning streak, so that's that's really good. Uh, the Nuggets are 16-10 and 10 at the three seed. The Suns are 16-12 and 12 at the four seed. The Trailblazers in a shocking kind of defense. And maybe, you no, know, Dame Lillard is just that guy. Uh, they're 15 and 12. The Clippers are 16 and 13. The Kings are 14 and 12. And the Jazz, who the, the last time I did this was the number one seed, has dropped all the way down. They've had they had a big time losing streak. They dropped down to the eighth seed at 16 and 14, which means they would not be in the playoffs. The Kings and the Jazz will be a part of the um, play play in. Number nine, the Mavericks would also be at 14 and 13, and the Warriors would be at 14 and 14. Coming up the rim, the Timberwolves at 13 and 14. The Lakers at 11 and 16. The Thunder are 11 and 16 as well. The Spurs are 9 and 18. And the Rockets are also 9 and 18. Although we got to give credit to the Lakers. They do seem to be playing better. Anthony Davis has seemingly taken over as being the big guy, the number one guy on that team, as he should be. And, uh... And Russell Wilson coming off the bench, they're playing a lot better. So uh, we'll see what happens the rest of the season. This, you know, the Lakers and the West and the Nets and the East both seem to be like garbage fires. And but as of late, they seem to have starting to come along. We see the Nets already in, in the fourth seed. So we'll see what happens with the Lakers coming coming very shortly. So let's talk a little hot stove, shall we? Let's start with last night. Carlos Carrera signed with the San Francisco Giants. 13-year, $350 million contract. It's a record-long deal that is the richest in that position and gives the team a franchise-type player, which it plans to build around. Sources familiar with the situation told ESPN's Jeff Passan. The free agent pass of Correa, who was 28, was far less circuitous than last year when he ended up when he in, entered the market in hopes of landing a $300 million plus deal, but wound up with a shorter term contract with the Minnesota Twins that included an opt out after the first season. This offseason, Correa found a market that lavished the $300 million on Trey Turner and $280 million on Xander Bogart, far more to his liking. And he wound up with the second biggest deal behind Aaron Judge's nine year, $360 million contract with the New York Yankees. The 13 years ties Bryce Harper's. $330 million deal with the Philadelphia Phillies in March 29. And like Harper, Correa received a full no-trade clause in the contract without any opt-outs, sources said. The $350 million exceeds the $341 million shortstop Francisco Redor received from the New York Mets and the $340 million with a shortstop that Fernando Tatis received from the San Diego Padres. And in the history of the baseball, only the Mike Trout's $426 million deal with the Los Angeles Angels and Mookie Betts' $365 million contract with the Los Angeles Dodgers and Judge's contract exceeds in its value. So that's that. That happened last night as the Giants signed Carlos Correa. So out of the shortstops, there's one shortstop left, and that's Dan's D. Swanson. And we will see where he ends up. As for some other things, and I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to pick out some of the names that you might recognize. I know it's some that I might recognize. You know, like Kelly Jansen. Kelly Jansen uh, went from Atlanta to Boston. He signed a two-year deal, right? That's good for him. Uh, Josh Bell signed a contract. He went from San Diego to Cleveland, two-year deal. William Contreras was a part of a three-team, nine-player trade. Went from Atlanta to Milwaukee. Sarah Murphy, who was that, also in their trade, went from Oakland to Atlanta. Joel Pimpinopoulos went from Oakland to Milwaukee. Manny Pena went from Atlanta to Oakland. All part of that trade. Um, let's see. Let's look at any other things. We, we talked about some of the other ones, right? You know, Jacob DeGrom went to Texas and signed a, a big deal. And Wilson Contreras, former Cub, he signed a five-year deal with St. Louis. Um, Trey Turner, yeah, we talked about 11 year contract, went from the Dodgers to the Phillies. Amazing. 
just absolutely amazing. Um, you know, Aaron Judge signed the contract. We talked about him. Um, let's look at here real quick. Uh, Justin Van Dander from the world champion Houston Astros goes to the New York Mets on a two-year deal. Um, talked about, uh, let's see, and, um, some other people here. Um, uh, Clayton Kershaw re-signed with the Dodgers for one year. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, but, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of other things that, you know, signing, but again, I'm just t- talking about the people that, you know, so yeah, this is, this is going to be, this is a big thing. Cody Bellinger signed a one year deal with the Cubs, uh, former MVP in t- 2019. So a lot of this is going to be going down, y'all. Uh, that'll be very interesting to see what happens uh, the rest of the um, hot stove season. Any more trades, any more signings, any releases. Um, but yeah, I think the big news right now is that the Giants. Signed Carlos Correa to a 13-year, $350 million contract. Amazing. And as always, the main event is the National Football League. Let's look back upon week 14 in the league. Oh, Jesus Christ, week 14. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we can week 14. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to look ahead at week 15. Week 14. Went like this last Thursday in a unbelievable comeback. Baker Mayfield only having, you know, been on the team for two days, 36 hours, something like that. Drives 98 yards in the last minutes of the game to score a touchdown, beating the Raiders 17-13. to This is the Raiders' fourth loss of 13 or more points. This season. That is stunning. On to Sunday's action. The Lions beat the Vikings 34 23. The Lions are on the road. Jared Goff's playing great football right now. Last four games, eight touchdowns, zero interceptions. Jameson Wilson, Jameson Williams came back and he's scored a touchdown in that game as well. His first NFL catch, first NFL touchdown. Ravens beat the Steelers 16 14. Lamar Jackson was out. Tyler Huntley got injured, and he was out. They went to their third quarterback, um, somebody Brown, Junior, somebody that I don't know who it was. Kenny Pickett also went out with a concussion, uh, running Mr. Bisky. Mr. Bisky threw three interceptions in that game. I just don't know how they did it. Um, the Ravens beat the Steelers 16-14. Joey, Joe Burrow, streaking against the Browns is over. Browns lost to the Bengals 23-10. Bills beat the Jets in a very wintry mix type game. Mike White knocked out of that game twice with rib shots. And uh, he plans on playing this next game, unbelievably not. That's unreal. But the Bills beat the Jets 20 to 12. The, the Cowboys, shockingly, shockingly, was down to the Texans. And if it wasn't for the Texans being the one in ten and one team, this would have been a loss for the Dallas Cowboys, and they would have been stunning. But another 98-yard drive for a quarterback. This time it was Dak Prescott. Seals the fate of the Texans. Texans lose. Cowboys win 27-23. to Eagles beat the Giants 48-22. Eagles put down on the Giants. Giants um, was so big at the beginning of the season, but things are starting to come back down to earth for them. We'll see. They had a big game this week, and that's going to be, a, 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 I think, a fun one to, to watch. Jaguars beat the Titans, 36-22. We're continuing to see the involvement of the Jacksonville Jaguars, and they're not out of the playoff mix as well. So Jaguars beat the Titans, 36-22. Chiefs beat the Broncos, 34-28. This is kind of something to say this is disappointing because we, there was a 27 to nothing lead for the Chiefs and some turnovers by uh, Patrick Mahomes got the Broncos back in it. Russell Wilson went out with a concussion. He will probably not play this week, but yes, it's just it's it's insane. So we got it. Patrick Holmes is just insane. He made one of his spectacular passes and just unreal. Chiefs beat the Broncos thirty four twenty eight. Panthers beat the Seahawks thirty to twenty four. Again, we another team that the Seahawks. You know, at the beginning of the, se- at the beginning of the year was thought was good and everything like that. Now they're looking good, but they seem to be coming back down to earth themselves as well. 
and the Panthers are not in it. They are one game behind the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because they lost in big time fashion to the 49ers and Brock Purdy, 37, 35 to 7. Brock Purdy just lighting up that Bucks defense. <laughs> and it, it's 49ers defense not giving anything to the Buccaneers. That is the Bucks the 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 29th defense may be the best defense in football. That is without question. The Chargers beat the Dolphins 23-17. to Tua Tungavailoa, the last couple of games have been very off. He was 10 of 28 uh, last week, this past Sunday. Not good. And then Monday night, the Patriots were at the Cardinals 27-13. to A lot of quarterback injuries this week. We had the, the quarterback from the Ravens, Tyler Huntley. We had Kenny Pickett. Um... We talked about Russell Wilson with the concussion. Um, I think that was maybe uh, it really for that. But then Monday night, Kyler Murray tore his ACL. He's going to be gone for a a, a a a year at the very least. He may even be out the entire next year. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, the Patriots beat the the uh, Cardinals, and it's 27-23. Now, let's look ahead to week 15. Tomorrow night, a big-time matchup. Brock Purdy goes on the road and takes on those 12s in Seattle, the 49ers and the Seahawks. It's going to be very interesting to see what goes on with them. And we got football on Saturday without college football. There, there is some college football on Saturday, some bowl games, but not a slate of college football action. So now we get the games on Saturday. The Colts and the Vikings are at 1 o'clock. That should be an interesting one for the Vikings. Uh, need to get back on track, but it's also it's from coach because the coach said uh, they're coming off their bye and they need to head on down the stretch, right? We got the Ravens and the Browns. Ravens and Browns are at four thirty Eastern time. Um, we'll see if Lamar Jackson can play or not. It's week to week for Lamar and in, in his injury. Uh, if if not, I don't know if Tyler Huntley can play with his concussion. So we'll be going to the, the, the undrafted rookie. I think it's Anthony Brown Jr., uh, who was the quarterback who came in. So it'll be him and Brett Hunley, uh, who was signed last week. And then the night cap, this, this is a massive game. Uh, the Dolphins and the Bills. We know the Dolphins beat the Bills early in the year in Miami. Now we're going to be in western New York. It's going to be cold. going to be a lot of snow. Some some saying up to three feet of snow uh, this weekend. Uh, uh, and so we'll see what happens with the game. They're going to play it. They're not going to move it, but we'll see what kind of game is, is it going to be. Is it going to be a massive snow game or where the snow have subsided by then and they can clear off the field? But we're going to see it's going to be big for the Dolphins and big for the Bills. The winner of that, I think, definitely goes on and wins the, uh, the AFC East uh, for the rest of the time being. Um, but yeah, man, because that's 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 that's, that's, that's just gonna be that's gonna be amazing game. Can't wait to watch it. And then Sunday's action: the Eagles and the Bears are playing. Bears are gonna come up there by Eagles, looking to keep it continue as uh, they head on to the play, uh, playoffs. This is this is a, this is another massive game. The Lions at the Jets. You know, Darren Lofsky said earlier this week that this looks like to be a playoff game. The team that wins this is going to be in. And I might be willing to say that that might be correct. Um, because I think, I, I don't think either team can lose. They have to win all the rest of their games. So, uh, to try to get into the playoffs because of tiebreakers and everything like that. So, this is going to be a big one for the Lions and the Jets. This is, I can't wait to look at that one. Uh, the Steelers and the Panthers. Chiefs at the Texans. Chiefs need to do what the guys I was Cowboys should do and just put a 50 burger on the Texans and let it be done. And what they wanted to do with the Denver Broncos. Falcons are at the Saints. Again, both of those teams are still in the run for the division, as well as the Panthers and the Buccaneers. Cowboys at the Jaguars. It's going to be a tough one because the Jaguars are playing like any other, you know, like any hot team is playing right now. And the Cowboys, you just couldn't do what you did to the Texans. So it's going to be interesting. Cardinals and the Broncos, this is a now totally different game with Kyle Murray and Russell Wilson both being out more than likely. Uh, so uh, this is just for draft status. Patriots and the Raiders are happening. Uh, Patriots want, still want to get in the playoffs, so they need to keep a win. And Raiders want to show some fight and some heart. So, you know, they're going to give them all they can. Titans are at the Chargers. Titans are still trying to 
maintain their hold on the AFC South title. Keep you know, so they're gonna need a win. And the Chargers are still they're trying to get back in it as well. They're still in it uh, for a wild card spot. They they have no other chance to win the division as uh, anymore with the Chiefs. But uh, yeah, they, they're still trying to end. So that's gonna be a nice one. Bengals at the Buccaneers. This one is I think this one may this one may either put the nail in the coffin of the Buccaneers um, chances or this may. Help them out, you know, because the Bengals are like very, very hot right now. Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow is on a streak unlike any other, and uh, so this is going to be interesting to see what happens to that game. The Giants at the Commanders on Sunday Night Football again. Last time they faced, they faced two weeks ago and they tied. So we'll see what happens Sunday, and then the Rams and the Packers are on Monday night. So there you have it. That's. The recap of Week 14 and what to look forward to this coming week in the National Football League. All right, guys, that is it for this episode of The Game According to Me. Once again, we will be back next week with with another episode. But on December 28th, we will not be doing an episode. I will be on vacation, so I will not have the ability to do it. But uh, definitely we'll be back next week to talk about it. We will return then on January the 4th. All right, so there you have it. Yes, uh, please make sure to um, go to patreon.com slash adtrip to become a patron. Once you hit a certain amount of patrons, you will be able to determine what you will hear on this podcast, not on this podcast, but on my other podcast, The Word According to Me, on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash adtrip, adtrip to 20, should be both, and... Uh, what you were, video games you'd like to see me play on Twitch. Or, if you want to support me another way, you go to anchor.m slash Andre's Triplet Show. You can do that. And, um, you have three tiers there. 99 cent, $4.99, and $9.99 and 9 dollars 99 cent or if you don't have to do it through the monetarily things to do it, well, then there's another way, obviously. There's the way to go and um, just rate and like this podcast, subscribe to it, whatever it is, share it on all your social media. Thank you guys so much for listening. This is your boy, AJ Tripp, signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.